A great price tag for a 9 inch tablet looking head unit, that sounds attractive right? Well let's find out what this low cost unit has to offer. This is BCPA9 made by Boss Audio but there is a similar model made by Planet Audio. It's basically the same device. Well, this model was designed mainly for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and for that reason doesn't have a lot of features. The chassis is a single DIN unit and that's a big advantage, especially for older cars that feature a single DIN slot. The concept of adjusting this screen is actually pretty smart. You don't have to take any screws out and you actually can make adjustment even after you install the unit. And now you will see how complicated it is to attach the screen. I was joking, actually it's pretty easy, it just snaps right in and that's pretty much it. And if you want to take it out just press those two buttons on the side and push the screen out and the screen should come right out. Unfortunately the display is not high definition, instead it's a WVGA 800 by 480 pixels. Now let's quickly move on to the boot screen and see how long you have to wait for this unit to boot up. And 12 seconds is not that bad. And right after the boot screen we are transferred straight to the Apple CarPlay that's because I have the phone connected to the unit and as you can see it's pretty fast and eager to boot in the Apple CarPlay as well. Since we are here let's do a quick screen responsiveness test and it's not bad actually I was expecting to be a lot worse. Pressing the home button is gonna take us to the main screen which has a nice and simple outlined UI, well proportioned so you won't miss any selection while keeping the eyes on the road. Speaking of the simple UI, this is how the tuner screen looks like. Pretty clean and will surely look good on any car's dashboard. This is so far my favorite. Browsing through our main screen, let's have a stop at the audio video input which is gonna be your camera so you can simply switch to this screen whenever you like. Moving on to the settings section, here we have the general which has some basic settings like daytime, time zone, language and all that kind of stuff. What I want to point out is the power off delay. This is for that moment when you don't want your unit to reboot while cranking up your car. So setting a delay will help you to overcome that inconvenience. Another cool feature is you can disable the agreement screen whenever you turn the unit on, which by default is gonna be turned on. Audio section brings up some basic and easy to use settings, but if you are a sub fanboy you will love those three options. By having 4 frequencies to choose from along with 14 sub levels. Jumping to equalizer, you have a bunch of presets that you can choose from but also the ability to make your own which is gonna be the user preset and hopefully this will save your settings. Let's go back to the auto settings and see what other goods we find over there and we see the loudness which is actually a booster for the high and low frequencies, it's another sound effect. If you're planning to have an external amplifier then it may be a good idea to turn this one off so that way you will reduce any unwanted noise. The sound level can be set for each individual sound source which is pretty nice because you can customize it the way you want it. Moving on to the display section let's see what we got here and we have illumination control this basically dims your display whenever you turn the headlights on and off. Talking about night brightness, I find it pretty bright for the lowest settings still. This might be bothersome when driving on dark roads. Believe it or not, but solution for this if you really love this unit is to apply a window tint film. Scrolling down we find the LED key illumination setting which can be set in 6 different colors. 
It's a shame that orange is missing because that's a very common color for a lot of cars so you won't be able to match your dashboard lights. The wallpaper section is gonna let you choose up to 6 preset wallpapers. Unfortunately you cannot have your own, you just gotta use what you got. Moving on to the Bluetooth section. This is pretty straightforward, not much to explain here and switching to camera. Now, if you don't have any cameras plugged in, I suggest you to turn these features off so that way your unit is gonna run properly with no any issues. And if you ever need to adjust the parking guidelines, you can do that as well. Rear view delay will prevent the screen to switch to camera view when you shift from parking to drive. Honestly, that's a small detail that really makes me love this unit. Now, let's take a moment and look at the pros for this unit. First one would be fits a wide variety of cars. Pleasant user interface. The price. Screen size. And screen adjustment. And few cons as well no software updates that means no new features in the future unable to change the boot screen unable to upload your own wallpapers no orange color for the buttons dimmer too bright for night driving even on the lowest setting and screen can be vulnerable to theft that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to click like and subscribe for more similar content i'll see you in the next video Thank you.